Hello AC Universe and welcome to Canada Crossing. Today we are going to be working on our campsite here on Fire Cove. For those of you who haven't watched the previous videos, first of all, you should. Second of all, this is our island where we are doing every season. So the island will be split up into quarters and every quarter will represent a different season. So the first section of our island is the summertime. So we've started here and on this side all the summer uh, elements we kind of went with a pink and purple motif. Kind of those bright summer colors so you can see what we've done so far. A little ice cream truck stand action going on. And then on the other side to Rosie's house we have a nice purple pink area. So yeah, that's what we've done so far. So also in our summer section will be my house, which is down here. So that we will have to work on. And then around the corner on the beach, we have our campsite. So I decided to put the campsite on the summer section because it seemed to make the most sense because that's kind of when you want to go camping. And I thought there was a nice amount of room here on the beach. So, um, let's get started and I'll come back at the end and we'll walk through it together and see what we've done.
right, and we are back. Speedy build is complete. Let's go check out our beach overgrown campsite and see how it turned out. So it's just over here next to the airport. Um, I did add a couple more decorations here uh, just after I finished the speed build because I felt it was a little empty. So just a couple little things. By the way, I didn't know that when you touch the generator, it turns on. Um, that was kind of a shock when all of a sudden it started when I was moving it around. But anyway, just added a little bit of um, kind of, you know, campsite decor and this bamboo thing because why not? It's nice to kind of put little trees and stuff that are around. And it's a summer campsite, so it's nice to have some color. And then we move along and we have the actual campsite that comes with the game. So this is where our visitors will be staying. Um, and then we have the fire pit and the, or the campfire, it's not actually the fire pit and the nice chair. Um, generally my rule of thumb for builds is always like everything has to be accessible. You know, I don't want to put stuff that you could not access, access, you could not access. So this is kind of that exception. You can't actually sit on this chair, but. It looked good there, and I needed a chair, so. Um, I did plant some flowers, seeds, as you saw, which will not grow, so they just kind of look like some beach weeds. And then the only flowers I put in the area were the green mums, just to kind of give it that nice, natural look. Moving along, we have a nice camping eating area, uh, picnic table kind of thing. Um, I like the idea of mixing the chairs so you don't have a bench on both sides. So we have the stools on one side, the bench on the other side. And then this is just one of Sable's patterns um, to customize the tablecloth with. A nice kind of, you know, tie-in with the tent and the cooler even, adding some blue. And uh, this, this boardwalk pattern, what which is really cool actually I'm really happy with it uh, I'll post I'll put it in the description the creator code for this and the dirt path if you guys want and the stone path as well I'll put all those in the description so look for those um, and then we have a little another little campsite area kind of what I was trying to do is you know who's ever staying at this campsite this is where the Date. and then who's ever staying in this tent you know this is kind of their area and move along it's kind of like where there's a sleeping area I kind of want like a, an eating area so then we kind of follow the stone path here and then there's a little sink and garbage can and then a little laundry area up on the stones and drinking fountain and then another little sleeping area you know for those who really want to camp under the stars we got that going on and then they have their barbecue here. And then lastly, right at the end, one more tent on another wood plank area and a nice bench and ukulele. And then uh, as you saw, I planted some um, coconut trees just behind, just to kind of separate the area. I don't, I don't know. I don't love the idea of the coconut trees behind it. I wish I could plant different kinds of trees behind it but it's kind of nice way to separate the area because right next to it is my house and this will be what I'm gonna decorate next, but then I want this beach to kind of be my private beach here. So I don't really want it part of the campsite. So that is what we have going on. So um, I'm pretty happy with the campsite. I think it's kind of a, a very busy overgrown look but I really like the way it turned out. Again, going with our theme for this section of the island is summer, so to me it looks very summery. I even put those uh, festival balloon lights will look really cool at night. I really like the way they light up. Um, anyway, let me know what you think in the comments below. Is there anything you would have changed? Um, I don't know how I feel about camping on the beach personally, but in Animal Crossing, I think it's a really great way to use up beach space because let's be honest decorating the beaches is some of the hardest things to do here in the game so throwing your campsite on there and kind of working around things you would normally have in your campsite on the, the grass but you're having it on a beach and the rocks you know kind of two birds one stone and also frees up a lot of space on your actual island on the grass 
So I'm really happy about that. Anyways, thanks again for tuning into Canada Crossing. Don't forget to like the video. Think about subscribing to the channel, and I'll see you in the next video.